station on Space to Ground. Welcome to Space to Ground. I'm Dan Hewitt. The crew said farewell to another cargo craft this week. After packing HTV with trash and other items for disposal and preparing the HTV small re-entry capsule, the crew closed up the hatch. Then it was over to robotics controllers on the ground to detach HTV from the station and maneuver it for release. Alex Gerst pressed the button to release HTV from the station's robotic arm and HTV began its flight away from the station. It will re-enter the Earth's atmosphere this weekend, with the spacecraft burning up during the intense heat of re-entry. But a special project carried on HTV will be looking to survive that fiery plunge. The HTV small re-entry capsule is a small spacecraft designed by the Japanese Space Agency to return experiment samples from space, something that very few spacecraft can currently do. The crew loaded the capsule with samples from a Japanese protein crystal growth study and installed it over the hatch to the spacecraft. Before HTV begins its re-entry through the atmosphere, it will release the capsule, which survives the heat of re-entry thanks to a heat shield, and will aim for a parachute-assisted landing in the ocean where it will await a recovery ship. Veteran NASA astronauts Eric Bowe and Sonny Williams have been getting hands-on with the spacecraft they're set to fly in, Boeing's CST-100 Starliner. The pair familiarized themselves with the control systems in a trainer for the next generation capsule. Bowe was assigned to Starliner's first crewed flight targeted for 2019, with Williams slated to fly on Starliner's second crewed flight. To see the latest as we get closer to these first flights from Boeing and SpaceX, visit nasa.gov slash commercial crew. Keep sending in your questions using the hashtag space to ground. We'll see you next week.